Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals and today I'll be doing a flip through of these two vintage French fabric and lace journals. In the previous video I shared a flip through of these ones from the collection and then in the next video I'll be sharing the last two in the collection. And these are now available in my Etsy shop and all the color covers have different designs, different sizes, different colors. So I had so much fun making these journals, um, not as like all the same this time in this collection where they all have the same papers, the same layout, the same ephemera in the same places. This time, there's, while there is overlap, they all have antique letters, they all have uh, vintage French invoices and handmade tags, they all have that kind of stuff but I went through these individually and they all have a different mix of papers and ephemera they have a different vibe each of them um, so let's get started I'll do a flip through of this blue one first I'll give you a look at the covers I did more of a collage with this one and love this beautiful trim here as the feature and then this one I just love this fabric so I don't want to cover it too much um, I just used some of this lace over the top so you can still see it through the lace and then this beautiful trim and then I left this one blank because it's just really really stunning fabric as a blue girl I love this one they all are lined with fabric on the inside and a lot of it is vintage as well this one has a beautiful vintage French postcard and I try to match the colors so most of it has blue writing for this one whereas you know uh, the video where I shared the flip through of the pink and purple ones, they have more of a pink and purple theme. So this one, you know, I'm using a blue stamp and blue paper, that kind of thing. So here we have a gorgeous treasure, a vintage French envelope. Then we have this antique letter, 1916 with the blue paper. And this is one of my absolute favorite pages. We have got this wallpaper tag, all my tags you can write on the back of. That paper, that is stunning. I'm keeping some of this for me. <laughs> I love it, it's one of my favorite papers. I've got some vintage ledger, a mixture of coffee dyed papers, um, all different documents, handmade journal tags, all different uh, invoices and receipts, and many, many, many letters. <laughs> I love the letters. I love this script right here, just stunning. A whole mixture of coffee dyed papers including pocket papers we've got one with a butterfly tag with the blue butterfly some vintage lined paper a beautiful doily this is some gorgeous blue ledger i love this one stunning we've got a uh, antique letter in there and we've got the blue or kind of blue purple writing here I love the mixture of sort of the typewriter font with this type of font with the handwriting. It is just so fun seeing all those different texts together. Another collage tag, another one here. This one, you can see the, it's double sided so you can see the sort of typewriter font on the back. But we've got the, um, like this script. That one's my favorite. If I have to choose like a favorite text type, I do love typewriter and I do love all of this, but it's this sort of curly calligraphy type of text that I love most. <laughs> and the handwriting, this one folds over so you can see here as well. And a little flip here with the blue or the purple writing again another letter in here and it's very subtle I'm not sure if it shows up on camera but it does have a bit of a hint of like a hint of blue to it um this one is a lovely one it folds out and so you can do anything you want with that the whole idea was that I would collect enough pieces for this collection so that it felt like you were receiving your own collection or own stash of vintage and antique French pieces and then you could do whatever you want with them you can pull them all out uh, rip it all up and make your own tags and journal cards or use it for your own personal journaling or of course you can keep it as a journal um, and you know use it as a journal but yeah I the aim was just to collect enough pieces all different types of treasures uh, from France and put it together in a journal beautiful piece of ephemera there, another handmade tag, 
just going through to the other side of all of these beautiful pages another one of my tags and this paper i love this paper so 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 much it is stunning i didn't have too much of this paper so some of them i turn into tags and i scan those tags and that is part of a tag kit um, and i have used some of it for collage um, but yeah, I'm hoarding the rest now. I'm hoarding the rest of this paper. So you can see here, um, I used some of this paper on this tag right here and a bit of wallpaper, floral wallpaper. Love that wallpaper. It is absolutely stunning. And some script in the background again and some uh, music paper. Love this tag. So some of these tags and papers were a little hard to part with. Um, but the great thing is, yeah, these are antique letters. And so I scanned a lot of the letters as well. And so I could make a letter kit, a vintage and antique French uh, letter kit. Um, and here another one with gorgeous touch of wallpaper with the florals. So I believe I scanned that one as well for like a wallpaper um, script tag kit. In fact, I made so many tags for this collection and not just for this collection. And I made all different types of tags like collage ones, script ones, wallpaper ones. Um, so I managed to make, I think, three different kits. Um, I believe they're all on my Patreon already. Um, so yeah, I released those uh, earlier at different times. Now this one, this one is more of, it's maroon and pink. So I think I went for more of like a red, purple, pink theme here. Because <laughs> you don't get a lot of um, like those colours with just the French sort of writing but anywhere where the text was red or purple or pink I try to put it into this journal so again we have a vintage French uh, not envelope mm, postcard postcard in this one this one is actually blank which is stunning I love these to be able to write on the back of and how wonderful to pair something vintage with so much history like this with your own story on the back like oh my goodness so good now this one has a vintage french seed packet like i said they all have their own character they all have a mixture of different things a different layout different ephemera different documents they all have their unique individual character so we've got a piece of ephemera there i have paper clipped that piece on to there <laughs> one of my stamp tags again I used the maroon stamp to tie in with the color theme of the cover so love that little details like that I love this one a folded um, piece of no that's not ephemera that's a full on document <laughs> I love that love that folding it over a piece of um, over a page this one, see, it's got red lines. This one was really unique, this antique letter. So that went into this journal. And we got the coffee dyed papers, all a mix, vintage letter, or another um, ledger, it looks like, on the back, which is really cool. I love where it has something wonderful on one side, but it's blank on the other. Uh, we've got our envelope pocket with a full size letter in there, another antique letter. Another one here. Sometimes I forget what I put into these journals because um, I just try to put as much as I can in there and load it up, make it like a treasure chest, a treasure journal. Here is a vintage or antique envelope. See, this is where I use some of that red text. That was a bit rare, but I love that. That would have been one that I used in a tag kit. Another letter in there, so many letters, because I just love the script. So here you can see we've got the purple and the red. So I, I make all the tags in bulk and then I divvy them out for each journal depending on the colours and all of that kind of thing, which is so fun to do. So flipping through to the other side, got the vellum there. This one, I love the dark colour of this paper. Vintage ledger, another piece of ephemera. Another one here, I love that border. You could even... Um, like put your own paper inside there and use it as a little journal card. I think that'd be really, really sweet. And lots of, oh, here again, some red text. 
Love all the stamping, those kinds of things on this piece of ephemera. And all these are like one of the kind ones too. So a lot of the letters, I had a huge stash of them. Uh, here's another one, speaking of letters. Um, but other pieces like the ephemera, I only had one each of these things. So it was a little hard to part with these things, but that was the idea to just load these up with all different types of authentic uh, French pieces. So those are the two journals, um, the blue one and kind of yeah, maroon cover, but pink and purple and red themes and tones in there as well. These are now in my Etsy. The link to my Etsy shop is down below in the description box. And I hope you might be able to pick up a treasure. And in the next video, I will share a flip through of the last two in the collection, a green and a yellow themed one. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.